Hello there and welcome back to the channel. Uh, we are going to start on a new series that's going to be called Culture Topics and we're going to look at a different, I guess, new thing or something in our culture that is making headlines. I guess we can put it like that. Um, so in this first one, we thought it would be good. We used to be big country music fans. I like country music generally I don't like a lot of lyrics in country music anymore but anyway this this video is going to be about Jason Aldean's new song um, that I can't remember to try this in my small town I think I don't remember what the song is called now we should have wrote it down so anyway new series cultural topics we're uh, let's look at some of these lyrics first okay and we're just gonna start right with the verse uh, he says, sucker punch somebody at the red light, carjack an old lady at a red light, pull a gun on an owner of a liquor store, you think it's cool, will act like a fool if you like. It's a good rhyme. So just thinking about the actions that are listed here, I think as Christians we can all agree that these are bad things. We shouldn't be acting like this. Uh, these are all seemingly very violent reactions to situations that, don't really call for violence. We don't know the context of what's going on, what they're even talking about, like what situation specifically. Um, but the person at this red light is threatening your safety. Maybe a punch is needed. Uh, then the cuss out a cop and spit in his face part. That is, there's no reason for that. Okay. We don't have context. But assuming this cop is good and doing his job, cussing at a cop and spitting on him or at him is just disrespectful to God-given authority. The police are there for our safety. Now, somebody's already mad. I know, yes, there are bad cops, okay? But should we be spitting on them and cussing them? No, we shouldn't. Not as, not as regenerate Christians, no. There are different forms of resistance if and only when needed right uh he says stomp on the flag and light it up stomping the flag that's another respect problem we are just throwing all the history of god-fearing men fighting and losing their lives for this country you know it's not a perfect country we're far from a perfect country but america is far better off than many past and current countries that many had to fight for right I know we all know a veteran. We all have a veteran friend, family member, whatever. We all know general history, which I wish we would teach history better. But anyway, um, then he goes on. Yeah, you think you're tough? We'll try that in a small town. See how far you make it down the road. And I believe we're in the chorus now. So now this seems to be a death threat. I mean, I don't know how else you would take see how far you make it down the road. Um, and that's just not a good response, honestly. I see how you would be protective and defensive of your people. That's good. You should be, but we should not be, we shouldn't jump to fighting fire with fire. Um, then it goes on around here. We take care of our own. You cross that line. It won't take long for you to find out. I recommend you don't try that in a small town got a gun that my granddad gave me. So here, I guess we are assuming we're going to shoot someone, which is not a biblical response to some of these actions. Uh, Jesus says, if your enemy strikes you on one cheek to turn the other cheek and let him strike that one as well. Uh, we shouldn't roll over and just be manipulative doormats or not stand up for what is right. That is also not biblical, but we shouldn't go around threatening everyone of shooting them. So then they say, they said one day they're going to round them up. Um, they're going to, so they're going to round the guns up, which I've heard some say is a good solution, but let's think about why we have the second amendment. It was proposed initially by James Madison in order that we can bear arms for defense against a tyrannical government, which is still possible to arise in our country. Um, but people absolutely abuse that people abuse most things. But I believe that we should have the right to stand up for ourselves and others, not as a first response, but when needed. 
Now, overall, this is clearly saying that there are things that Jason Aldean, his writers, and his assumed fans don't like. Now, Jason didn't write a word of this song, but he is representing it in his entertainment. Um, and their response is just violence to violence is all that's going on here. The other side is saying, if you're looking in the two sides of the media with this topic here, because it's, it's part of why we're looking at it, this is very wide covered right now. The other side is saying that the song is racist, which um, I'm not seeing where that's being brought up, white skin color being brought up. Uh, there's insinuation to BLM riots, which were violent. Um, and he's saying that wouldn't fly in his town, which I agree violence should not be our answer, but unfortunately it often is on both sides, both sides. As far as writing, I think we, you know, you have the right to stand up to and oppose to actions from the government. You have that right, but rioting businesses and areas that have nothing to do with it don't make sense. Um, now they did put a, they supposedly reportedly put a clip in of a BLM riot and then it got took out or something. I don't know if that's true. It was one of the articles I skimmed through. Protest against evil by doing evil. Hate God and your fellow m men. The world can only be redeemed by revolution, terror, the tearing down of everything that is still standing. Christ comes to us and says, seek your peace in me. Know a new eternal life, which will work itself out in the life, in this life, in loving your neighbor, showing mercy, humility, hungering and thirsting after righteousness it is a revolution, not of terror, but of love. If we are walking with Christ, neither of these responses are correct. Jesus says to love your neighbor. Now we stand up for what's right but in a way that shows love of Christ and against evil. We hate evil. So let's, we need to go out there and show others that there's a better way than fighting violence with violence, that there's a better answer to all issues, and that answer is Jesus. Jesus can heal the hurt and point to living a righteous life in him with love and humility. We can't do it on our own. No country singer can do it for you. No government politician can do it for you. It's only Jesus that can redeem you and allow you to be regenerate. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it was informational and helpful to you and has you thinking about things, thinking about the content of country music if you are a Christian. Um, I'll let that be of your own conviction. But, uh, I hope this was helpful and has you thinking. And I hope you're all having a good week. And thanks for watching, and like if you liked it. We'll see you in the next one.